it was quite terrifying. This morning, a warning after a woman was impaled by a venomous stingray off the coast of Florida. Christy Catafo O'Brien, a Florida native, says she was relaxing in knee-deep water when she decided to lean back to cool off. She suddenly felt a sharp stab through her back. The terrifying aftermath shown here in this photo on her GoFundMe page, set up by her husband. Two barbs from the stingray's tail penetrating three inches into her upper back muscles, narrowly missing her lung by only three centimeters. Her husband immediately calling 911, paramedics rushing to the scene, snipping off the stingray's spine at the base of its tail. I started becoming hysterical um, just knowing that it was not alive on me anymore, but the barb was still in me. Experts say fatalities from stingray are extremely rare and are largely due to the puncture of the sting itself and not from the venom. It's really only when you have a stingray barb hit a major organ and cause a massive injury that uh, they can be deadly. That was the case in 2006 when Australian crocodile hunter and renowned conservationist Steve Irwin was killed by a stingray while filming in the Great Barrier Reef. Steve Irwin actually died from being impaled in the heart by a stingray when he was kind of hovering over it where the stingray felt threatened by him.